solar panel efficiency has changed, improved massively over the past 30 years. Panel efficiency is a measure of the amount of sunlight that falls on the surface of a solar panel and is converted into electricity. Due to the many advances in photovoltaic technology over recent years, the average panel conversion efficiency has increased from 15% to around 22%. But at one point in time, it was as low as 5%. That means that solar panel efficiency has quadrupled over the past 30 years. But now the game has just been taken to an entirely new level. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the channel. This year, I think we're going to hit about 100,000 subscribers, which is fantastic news. I'm stoked about it. Stoked to have you guys here. And, you know, we've only been here for about a year and a half now, just over a year and a half since we started this channel. At the start, you know, I thought this would be some fun of letting people know that, um, the world was actually getting better. The whole point of this channel is to let people know the world is in fact not doing what the media says. It's not getting worse. It's absolutely getting better. And the future for our children and for ourselves as a result of that is a really a good thing. We're going to leave the world in a better place than we found it. I know many people find that hard to believe because honestly, the majority of people have been brainwashed by the media and their negativity sells. So they print negativity. Therefore, we start to get brainwashed by all this stuff. We think everything's going to hell in a handbasket when the truth is not the case at all. Solar is a huge part of this global strategy towards renewable energy, towards eventually having what will be basically free energy. Now, I know energy costs are spiraling right now, but it won't be long before they start to go down significantly. And Tony Sieber talks about this. Check out his YouTube channel, Rethink X. He explains to us why superpower, in other words, meaning massive energy abundance, in fact, more energy than we can possibly need, around 200% more energy than we can possibly need, is what will be here within about a decade's time. Part of that is solar and its increasing efficiency and its declining costs. Renew Economy reports that for the first time, the conversion efficiency of four terminal silicon tandem solar panels with certified top cells has passed 30%. Dutch researchers from Eindhoven University of Technology working in partnership with Soliance Solar Research work together to push the conversion efficiency of tandem solar cells beyond the limit of today's commercially available solar PV modules. The researchers hope that their breakthrough will enable more power per square meter and less cost per kilowatt hour. Further, integrating these solar cells into construction and building elements should become more commonplace, allowing existing surface areas to be covered with solar PV modules. Now, the report explains that tandem solar cells are able to reach higher efficiencies than single junction solar cells through better utilization of the solar spectrum. One of the reasons, one of the obvious things we've seen in this better utilization of the solar spectrum has already come about now into commercial products in solar cells. Now, for example, I had this discussion years ago with a few people who claimed to me that solar doesn't work when it's not sunny. I said, it does. Actually, it does work when it's not sunny. It's not as efficient, but it most certainly still gets energy and converts the available sunlight, even though there's no sun, directly into energy. Now that's one of the big improvements we've seen over solar panels over the past decade. Now, even when it's cloudy, you can still gain a significant amount of power. Current tandem solar technology combines commercial silicon technology for the bottom device with perovskite technology. Specifically, the perovskite technology features highly efficient conversion of ultraviolet and visible light, as well as excellent transparency to near infrared light. The top and bottom cells of a four terminal, 4T tandem solar cells, meanwhile, are able to separate independently of each other, making it possible to apply different bottom cells. And this means that commercial PERC technology, as well as more premium technologies like heterojunction or topcon or thin film technology, such as SIGS or CIGS, can all be implemented in a 4T tandem device with hardly any modification of the solar cells. 
Researchers from the Netherlands and Belgium have successfully improved the efficiency of the semi-transparent cells up to 19.7% with an area of 3 by 3 mm squared. The result has been independently certified by the European Solar Test Installation Lab in Italy. Similarly, the silicon device optically stacked under the perovskite contributes efficiency of 10.4% to the total solar energy conversion. Combined, the conversion efficiency of the researchers non-area matched 4T tandem devices reached 30.1%, a new record. The type of solar cell features a highly transparent back contact that allows over 93% of the near infrared light to reach the bottom device, said Dr. Mirad Najafi of TNO, the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research. One of the research partners in Soliance Solar Research. Now this performance was achieved by optimizing all layers of the semi-transparent perovskite solar cells using advanced optical and electrical simulations as a guide for the experimental work in the lab. Now according to the researchers, this application of four terminal solar PV modules is only the beginning. Combining the highly transparent perovskite cell with other silicon-based technologies such as back contact, metal wrap-through and interdigitated back contact cells and top con solar cells, this has already delivered conversion efficiencies approaching 30%. The researchers believe that these results demonstrate the potential of highly transparent perovskite solar cells, as well as their flexibility to be paired with existing commercialized technologies. Now we know the ingredients are able to control the layers that are needed to reach over 30% efficiency, said Professor Gianluca Coletti, Program Manager of Tandem PV Technology and Application at TNO. Once combined with the scalability expertise and knowledge gathered in the past years to bring material and processes to large areas, we can focus with our industrial partners to bring this technology with efficiencies beyond 30% into mass production. It's going to take a few years for this to happen. But I would say within the next five to 10 years, we will see solar panels with 30% or more efficiency. This is going to add a huge amount of energy to the grid. It'll mean basically that we're going to get an extra 20% plus out of our solar. But the other key thing to remember is the costs of solar panels have crashed over the past 30 years. Solar is now 94% cheaper than what it was only 35 years ago. What does the future hold? Well, I'm not really sure, but I can say this with absolute certainty. The world is moving to renewable energy. This will continue to help bring down the cost per unit of energy coming from solar cells, from renewables. And what is that going to mean? Ultimately, cheaper panels, more efficiency, and a quicker change and faster disruption of fossil fuels. Frankly, my friends, just yet again, more good news worldwide. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.